Aquatic turtles move to land when nesting and seeking out new habitats. Monitoring turtle movement patterns will allow us to make informed management decisions concerning habitat destruction, but it is a difficult task because the occurrence is ephemeral and unpredictable. Dr. Aaron Crockmull, a Washington College biology professor, and two of his research students, Hannah O'Malley and Emily Brumwell, used radio telemetry to observe this from a distance as turtles sought out new aquatic habitats. From the end of June to early August 2010, they studied the movement patterns of Chrysamus picta, the painted turtle, on Chesapeake Farms in Kent County, Maryland. Chesapeake Farms is a 3,300-acre property used for the practice of agriculture and wildlife management techniques. Baited hoop net traps were used to capture turtles from a pond that is drained and refilled annually for waterfowl management. In order to determine population demographics, the captured turtles were weighed, measured, and marked with PIT tags or notches. Dr. K, Emily, and Hannah attached radio transmitters to 12 turtles with epoxy or brass hardware, not allowing the weight of the encumbrance to exceed 7% of the turtle's weight. The turtles were released 96 hours before the pond was drained. During and after the pond was drained, radio telemetry was used to record pathways of each of the 12 radio turtles until they arrived at new permanent habitats. This summer research experience provided Hannah and Emily with the opportunity not only to learn about painted turtles and their habitats, but also about the creatures they share it with.